I'm Tia Borden with Mining IR. Beside me is Doug KV, chef and dishwasher of Defiant Silver, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. He says he does a lot for the company, including washing dishes and, and cooking for well, the team. Clearly not enough. <laughs> you are, what is your actual job title? I'm the Vice President of Corporate Development. Vice President of Corporate Development. Okay. Tell us a little bit about Defiance and then we're going to jump into some of the projects that you're currently working on. Okay. Um, Defiance is a Mexican focus, base, precious metal, gold, copper, silver, lead, zinc, uh, exploration and development company. Uh, we have two standalone assets in Mexico, one in central Mexico in the uh, heart of the most important silver mining jurisdiction in the world, the Zacatecas Mining District. And we have another project located in southwest Mexico, in Michoacan, Mexico, and it is an emerging copper gold uh, exploration development asset that has 1.8 million ounces of gold and 813 million pounds of copper. Now, what is Mexico like as a mining jurisdiction? Mexico is, is well, for a silver mining jurisdiction, it is the largest silver mining producer, silver producer in the world. Uh, combined with the top three silver producing countries in the world, it accounts for 50% of the global output of silver production. Wow. Uh, I would argue that there is not a jurisdiction in the last 10 years that has opened up more mines than Mexico. So it is a culture that deeply understands the role of natural resources for the economy. A number of states, mining is the largest G, uh, contributor to the GDP of the state. And it has an incredibly skilled workforce that allows for very dynamic project development. Um, we've had a lot of success working there. We're honored to be guests of, uh, of the country, the, the, the Republic of Mexico. And I would say it's one of the most globally mining friendly jurisdictions, state by state, uh, in the world. Now, you just mentioned that you've had a lot of success. Can you share what some of those successes have been over the last, say, year? Uh, over the last year, we've drilled the highest grade uh, hole in the Zacatecas Mining District, which is a billion ounce historic silver producing district that still has modern mining. Um, there's been large investments by large streaming companies. We've had a, uh, our next door neighbors uh, underground copper gold silver mine, sorry, copper silver mine. Uh, they are gonna double their throughput. But about 40 kilometers away from us is the world's largest primary silver mine. And next door to that will be the world's largest primary silver mine, Meg Silver's Juan Scipio project. Uh, that will be the world's largest primary silver mine in the next 12 months. So it is a place that you can go and use uh, very discovery-focused geoscience, make discoveries, and, and put them into production. So there is very clear path to production. And we look at that as our model, or our proof of concept. And by doing what we've done uh, with our targeting, with our, our technical work, um, we've demonstrated that there is a lot more uh, success and a lot more um, sort of value that can be added to the company and, and value that can be added to, to, the, to the projects um, through calculated work. And if you look at the last 12 or 18 months, that success has is, is been resource building and making new discoveries. And what are you hoping to, to experience and see for the year to come? I'm hoping to experience a very safe and very um, very safe and very calculated amount of work. We're in a uh, market environment that requires um, a conservative uh, spend and a conservative approach to the way that you budget and advance projects. Mm -hmm. And so I'm hoping that the last two and a half years of work that we've done and the last two and a half years of um, our corporate strategy is reflected in the work that we are doing right now and will be doing for the next year because we've spent a lot of time making sure that we feel that the um, exploration, because exploration is risky as it, as it is exploration, and it is backstopped by a, a lot of really good uh, technical work, that we're able to execute on those technical plans in a very safe and uh, controlled environment, and that we're able to meet the milestones um, as the last 12 or 18 months we've met all of our, our corporate milestones, that we're able to meet those milestones which include follow up on new exploration, follow up on new discoveries, but uh, updated resource estimate on our Santa Casio project, on our main Veda Grande uh, project, uh, follow up on our um, exploration results that we've had in, in some of our district exploration, and see that the, um, the reason that the culture of understanding natural resources is reflected or the culture of mining in Mexico is reflected on the, the, the company and that the company supports the development of new projects and, 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 and really references that we can be a premier company in the particularly Zacatecas district because the 
the end result is that there will be operating minds. And so that's our end goal is that we take a project and put it into the, the space that there will be an operating mind. Doug, what are the top reasons investors should invest in the company? We have pound for pound, one of the best exploration teams on the planet, led by an extremely gender diverse group of people. We are fully financed for our exploration program. We've hit or exceeded every single milestone over the last 18 plus months. We have a culture of responsibility. We have a philosophical alignment with our shareholders. We're very direct and open. And we are out to represent the shareholders' best interests, as we are all large shareholders of the company. Amazing. Doug, is there anything else you'd like to leave our viewers with before, before we go for a glass of wine, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd encourage that if, if you, if you believe that the space, the mining space and the investment space is that there is an opportunity to invest into the mining space, that you look at Defiant Silver as one of the names that, that is a, uh, a possible investment because when the space goes, a rising tide lifts, lifts all boats. And when the space goes, a number of my peers are gonna be just as successful as, as us with Defiant Silver. And the philosophy of the company and the backstop of the company is that we do good, safe work, we follow a targeted approach, and, and we succeed because of that. So I would hope that because of that, and if you look at the reference of the last 18 months, or the last two years, you can see that our, our, uh, our plan works, and we hope that it continues to work. Doug, thank you so much for sitting down with us today. Thank you very much, Dia.